What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are going to rush through this again today. This house is going to be the rest of the week, guys, because I'm in a hurry. We got TK for TK's Garage over here. Don't forget to go subscribe to his channel. He's got a video. I got a video too, but mainly he's the one giving away. Go over to his channel, TK's Garage, subscribe to his channel, comment on the free car giveaway for your chance to win the 2002 Chevy Malibu. If you haven't seen the video on it, go over there, check that out right now. Now let's get started. Number one on my list today is a 1970 Ford, I think this is a F100. I think no, it's an oh, no, no, F150. Okay, I didn't think they had the F150 yet. I guess I'm wrong. And look, it's even got the XLT trim right there on the front grill. Man, this is a beautiful truck. One of you guys sent it to me, I can't remember who it was. One of you sent it to me, so I want to say thank you to whoever that was. We'll see if we can get that hood. Oh, wow, oh, so far. Yeah, look at that. It's a, it's solid. They don't make them like they used to. Whew, but look at that motor, man. She's uh, is it caked on? She's a little, she's a little dirty. There's it had, looks like gasoline or coolant or something spilled up top there. <laughs> <laughs> is this a runner? I don't remember if this is a run and drive or it does. I wouldn't think it's got coolant though. It's full of coolant. Here you want? Does it show it in there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, green. It's green cool. coolant. It's not water. Let's see what the oil looks like. Yeah, it looks good. It's dirty, it's but dirty. it's full. It's got oil. The water pump is fairly new. It's barely got any surface rust on it. You see the water pump down there is yeah. shinier than everything else. Everything else is rusty. The rest of the truck, however, it's it's a little questionable. Let's try. I haven't seen the interior yet. Tires are practically bald. The bodywork is pretty rough, man. I think this was spray painted. Yeah. You can see all the runs from somebody spray painted. This is why you don't give classic cars like this to your kids, man. They take a good thing and destroy it, you know? Looks like somebody replaced the bed. The bed's actually in, in the back bumper, too. Yeah, like is in really good shape. New steel or something down. This is in real nice condition. Yeah, a good paint job. Oh, oh I remember these. Ranger XLT over here on the back. Yeah, yeah, same here. Here's your here's one of your gas caps. Maybe this has two tanks, or maybe this is the only one. There she goes. You smell this? Here, smell this. I think the gas is okay though. Really? That's a hard gas cap to get on and off there. Alright. Time to see what the inter interior You know for a 70 at first I'm like, whoo. But for a 75, it's really not that bad. It's even got a trailer brake, man. Uh, it might go. It might. It, it started. I didn't even pump the gas. Hold on. She's dead as a doornail. We got to give this one a boost, man. You got to hear this one run. All right. Moment of truth. We did not start that without you either. And that was like right over that thing fired right off. That is crazy. Like that, 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 we didn't, I'm really, that I'm, I'm truthfully good. surprised. I did not come in here and crank, 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 and, and then try to make it run. Like it fired up on its own, just like that. Oh. Wow. <laughs> now she's not running. Well, she, well at have, all. Someone could have retarded the timing. I doubt it, but oh, it's got a, It's definitely got a miss. And I'm looking, can... look at the belt jumping up there. Yeah. Yeah, she's running rough. Man, couldn't need a distributor cap, spark plugs, plug wires. But the fact it fired right up. And it, it's got good, uh, good throttle response. It really does. Look how the whole truck shakes when you do that, man. It's like, yeah. It's got some power behind it. <laughs> the lights work. The brights are on. And for those of you that don't remember, your bright button. Down right the there. That old school floor high beam. Yep. Man, power steering is good. Window work. <laughs> yep. Window works. This is nice, guys. So you can see she's running a little rough under here. 
and it looks like somebody already put i gotta be careful with my cords around this these are real fans over here <laughs> it's got a new plug wire it's got new spark plugs down there and over there so it looks like somebody already attempted a tune-up on it and maybe they just gave up after that you know it could have i've seen these with uh uh broken uh broken lifters collapsed lifters bent or broken push rods the carburetor could be out of tune yep. that's a big thing you could have rotten gas like, there's a million things that it could be the lights are on it's blowing some smoke let's go check that out that's another thing you can have a it can have a burnt valve oh that's rich that is Ooh, that is gas. that's gasoline that's gas. oh it's got duels or no it? yeah it's got that's dual cool. exhaust it's got one here and one over there oh wow Ooh, that's a lot of gas. Oh, wow, wow. Man, this makes the BMW smell like it's running lean. I know. <laughs> this is, uh, oh. I would say that the reason why it's acting like this is the carburetor. Yeah. It's dumping, it's fuel. dumping fuel. Way too much fuel, not enough air. So, uh, you know, go grab you a carburetor, have this one rebuilt or something. It'll probably be all right. Oh, we got one headlight out. You know that song? One headlight. <laughs> all right, guys, moving on to the next one. Next on my list is a 2015 gmc i believe this is a sierra denali this is a 2500 it's the duramax with the allison transmission this is not the same one we looked at earlier man she's beautiful well on this side it's a denali hd it's a beautiful truck on this side 66,000 miles on the odometer got lots of airbags blown uh all of them yeah all the side bags uh seat bolster bag over there so this seat bolster is good airbags in front are good which is good it saves you having to do the uh dashboard bag and everything nice interesting color it's brown in the front we got dvd screens in the back tan in the back was that wrong i could have swore that the seats were tan were brown no they're not they're tan all right we got the uh the, this is a nice bed cover too i believe that's still a foldable one. Soft open. The bed looks nice, actually. Yeah. This is nice. Now, this side is where just everything goes to hell in a handbasket once you get over here. Right here is, uh, it's... You think the frame's shot, gotta be shot? Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah this... I, I, I was thinking, like, this would be perfect to just rip the motor and trans out of it. Tow company cut crash wrap and bent molding. Ooh. Ooh, dang. I bet they didn't hold the tow company responsible either. Bridgestone all-terrain tires. Man, it's a good-looking truck. Is it listed? It's a run and drive. Although, I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't recommend driving it far with the sides missing off of it like that. But, uh, let's see. Let's see if she'll start. Put a key in it and see what it does. And dead as a doornail dang that sucks that does suck i really wanted to hear this one run yep oh well moving on to the next one next is a 2006 ford f-150 what's interesting about it is it's uh oh no start because it has no battery huh i still think it's start this is the one everybody says stay away from you know because it's got that three valve triton and i'm kind of inclined to agree with you guys on that i uh i'm leery of the three valve myself open country Toyo all-terrain tires in like brand new condition. A little scraping here. Uh, this one I believe is a rollover or something. I mean, I don't know. Had to go under something. Yeah, it either went under something or it's a rollover because I mean it broke it. Yeah, the roof is crunched too. Like the roof is. I can I can't get up there too well, but you guys can see that the roof is in bad shape. Unfortunately for this truck, it's only the five and a half foot bed. This is the shorty bed. I prefer the six and a half. But somebody did put dual exhaust, and they put dual exhaust on it so you can't hear the cam phasers ticking and the timing chain slop. So that's a trick. That's a trick for those of you that want to sell three valves, and you got that engine noise that these things are notorious for. Just put some loud exhaust on it, and, and that'll save you a lot of trouble. So I'll pop the hood real quick. Take a look at the interior. Oh, 222,000 miles. Man. The thing is, though, is like this truck is still usable. It's not pretty. It's just a work truck. But you can get another windshield. Another windshield will go in here. You can definitely get another windshield for it. That's no big deal. You can put another hood on it. 
as for this i mean how many people are really going to be looking up here to see you could probably reach in the, and go up there and bang that yeah out. i would put a windshield in it put a hood on it and i'd call this one a day with 220 not 22 000 miles on the leg that's uh these are nice looking rims too i think it's a good looking truck oh yeah and they put it right in the middle and you got to watch out because there's this thing under the grill that'll oh, slice is. you it's right here Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Go ahead. There, there she goes. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. Almost, uh. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Man. I don't know. We should start it. We should start it up. Yeah. We should hear it run. Three let's let's start it up. It's got a K&N filter in yeah. it. Yeah. That's worth $5,000 right there. All right. There's only one thing left to do. See if it runs because for the right price, I will buy it. Absolutely, I will buy this in a heartbeat. I've got no problems with a 200,000 mile F-150. Nothing. Not a... There's a pump up here for sending fuel, but it ain't doing nothing. Huh. So after tinkering with it, we figured out why it doesn't start. The uh, Something is broken with the shift lever. You can put the key in, and you can move the shift lever wherever you'd like. And you can hear it just it's not actually shifting so the shift cable is broken so when the e-brake is on you take it off the truck rolls the shifter has got a lot of slop it's not actually shifting so what the, what the actual problem is is somewhere under here we'd have to disconnect the uh, transmission linkage put it into park and then I, I guarantee you it's going to fire up this thing would absolutely start with no trouble the other issue is you have to get under there manually with someone watching the brake put it in drive climb out and then you could drive it home someone had to climb under put it in park <laughs> it's uh ask me how i know i've done this before i i, I have done this before this truck is listed as a non-runner but i know exactly what's wrong with it and and exactly what it's going to take to make it to, uh, running and driving truck again dual exhaust i bet it sound real good i bet it would i'm, I'm almost tempted to climb under there and see if maybe i can force it into park but truthfully we just we just ain't got time for all that today so we're going to move on to the next one all right next on the list is 2011 mercedes cls 550. Uh, first glance it really doesn't look that bad right well <laughs> well you get around to the other side here and uh suddenly we got some serious suspension damage something happened to the back end here clearly where where did it all go yeah. like <laughs> And you is can it see, look at the swipes along here yeah yeah like the tire blew out and just, just we're i mean yeah the suspension I, is something's wrong here like very wrong because this is more than just i think it has an abc system wow i mean that's insane that's insane we need that r naught coilover conversion kit for this one 65,000 miles on the odometer. Look how high up the front end is sitting. And the front end's got gaps. You could, well, you can fist it. Look, easily. She's loose up front. <laughs> oh. Well, some, you know, there's mud everywhere. So somebody went off road in this. That's what happened. It's listed as a run and drive, though. Let's see. It's got that Carolina squat. Uh-oh. Nothing. Oh, now the key's stuck. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so the battery's dead. Now, let me see if I can find the hood release buried up here somewhere. Yeah, this this one this one's a little rough. Is it under the star? It's right here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> This is the one yep. you're like, we know we shouldn't buy it, but, I, <laughs> but I'm like, ooh, shiny. So it's aromatic. Is that a nut it's, that's been chewed on? Oh, man. Uh -oh. So squirrels have been in here. Squirrel got his nut. Squir every squirrel gets a nut every now and then. Ooh. Yeah, so it's ABC system. Here's all your ABC hoses over here. Eh. Don't you want to get under another Mercedes and not do another ABC really. system? Not really. I, I, that that S600, <laughs> I think, was 
that was enough for a lifetime for me i think i still love these cars though i really do like i really love the shape the design the look like technology these things are amazing cars when they're running and driving windows. oh yeah because it's the like battery's dead, the battery's dead so yeah the battery's dead so the windows are all confused out. and i don't see a jump point under here like i know the battery's in the trunk it is it usually sticks out it's not here it's not here Maybe it's on this side. They will have one up here up front somewhere. Cause see, people have already pulled. Yeah, people's Either already way, been in here. They've been looking for it. I don't see one though. Huh. Yeah. It's Maybe it's under here. Hold on. Hold on. Nope. Nope. That's an air box. I see well, a ground up there on the firewall, but I don't see a. Yeah, I don't see a positive. <coughs> and I'm not going to spend all day trying to... Dig around. Yeah, around. because truth of the matter is this car is at $39.50. I'm not trying to spend that kind of money on something like this well, at this it. point. This is an 11. Yeah, it's an 11. Yeah, I'm not looking to get into something like this, not like, like this right now. So we're just going to move on to the next one. Next is a it's another Wrangler. We had one in, in the video from the day before yesterday. This is a 2011 uh, Rubicon trail rated of course i don't know why they bother sticking that on there but whatever it's a transfer it's transformed uh, <laughs> from a great truck into trash yeah. <laughs> it's got factory wheels and they put an x on that one so apparently that one is is done rodian all-terrain nexon yeah okay food stamp tires so, yeah on a jeep like really you can afford the jeep but you couldn't put some good tires on it but the, hey the spare is a 10 year old bf goodrich you know <laughs> that's cracked i mean that tire you're not going to get far on that and before look, it comes apart from, from a toyota dealership from a where from a toyota dealership oh no jim, jim norton, norton i've heard of him let's see it's ashley and nick and we've got bigfoot oh where's rick dyer this this, <laughs> this is for him what's he call his channel now it changes, it's, it changes he weekly. changed it to auto kings now it's good guys auto kings mr good guys yeah. auto sales mr good guy he keeps changing the name of everything and he doesn't understand why he doesn't have more like five thousand subscribers yeah where, where is he at because he's like the bigfoot king that's what he's king bigfoot king mm -hmm. he, he was world renowned for his bigfoot scams i thought that was funny as hell i'll be honest with you i loved i loved the scam <laughs> And he, he did. <laughs> he made a ton of money fooling people into into that Bigfoot deal that he. <laughs> yeah. He's lucky he didn't find himself in the middle of some charges or something over that. <laughs> if it had been me, I'd have gone to jail. Oh, this one's got power. Let's see if this one runs. There's a padlock sitting right up here on the windshield too. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Well, you know what? That's a Jeep thing. That's actually, it's not a Jeep thing. That's a Chrysler. Yeah, that's thing. the. Uh, <laughs> it's a Dodge. Shit, Pentastar Motors. <laughs> yeah. I can see you, it's that crap V6. This says, oh, tire, door. Christmas tree on the dash? 9A SCAP. 9A SCAP, low. Gas cap? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> gas cap, all right. You know, they're too cheap. Or maybe it's gas low. No gas cap, I guess. Yeah. I'd be like, ass cap? I, I don't know. Nine ass cap. Okay. <laughs> it's got the gas cap on, though, and it's tight. Yeah. Oh, well. I, I'm not interested in this one, but I do love Jeeps, so I figured I'd throw this one on the channel for all you Jeep lovers. Next, we got a 2010 BMW 335. I believe this is just an I, not an yep. XI. 136,000 miles on the odometer. This is clean. This is where I like the rims. I like how they go way up into the fenders, too. Uh -huh. This is really clean. Actually, you know what? It looks like the gap between these two sides is way off when it comes to the tires. This one looks like you can put your hands up in there. No, they're the same. It's just the, the vantage point, I guess. Yeah. This is listed as a run and drive, I believe. Uh -oh. Interior is clean. Is this the good iDrive system or no? Yes. This where you get the split screen with navigation and. Yep. It's got a long screen too. Yep. What did you just said? Ten. 
Yep, this might be the year that it, yeah, this is the good iDrive system. That is the one yeah, this is even the same setup and stuff that came. Remember the five stories you were yeah, looking at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this has that system in it. So yeah. it's got the good one. Well, not to say any eye drive is good. <laughs> All right, BMW. Where's the damn hood release? There it is. 3.0 twin turbo. Ooh. Okay, well, there's the connector for the booster pack. Let's get this thing jump started and see what she sounds like. It really doesn't look too bad. Oh, single turbo. Under here. Yeah, it's the single twin spool or yeah, something. That's what it is. Turbo is what turbo. they call it. Yeah. It's yeah. still, what, 300 horsepower? It's a beast. This, yeah, thing, it's, this it's, thing, man, you'll feel it. You get on this, you'll feel it. Yeah, it's biting now for two grand. Run what? and drive. I don't know. I'm just making shit. Oh, I'm going to say, yeah. <laughs> so she's running. It fired right up. Yeah, one time. Rev it up so you can hear it. Hear that? Yeah. You can hear it too. Yeah. It sounds good. And I'll tell you this, this is one of the telltale signs of a car that's been sitting for a long time and one you might want to stay away from is the rotors. If the rotors have got rust all over them, they where they're supposed to be shiny, it means the car hasn't been driving in a while, and that's something you got to watch out for. On this car, the rotors are shiny. This looks like it was a recent trade-in. This car was driving, like, very recently. There's no rust on the shiny surfaces of the rotor at all. So this thing may have even been driven here to the lot. Hopefully you can see that. So that doesn't mean that everything's okay, but it's a good sign on the downside uh yeah stability program brake service engine tire <laughs> pressure monitor now the brake no the e-brake's not on never mind <laughs> i thought maybe the e-brake was on e-brake's not on the brakes fill okay put in reverse dr drive goes forward goes backward uh, the battery was totally shot sometimes you can reset some of these lights by turning the wheel a couple times sometimes three times all the way lock to lock doesn't look like we're going to do that on this one nope you got your little paddle shifters right here yep. yeah I like this this is literally the poor man's M3 Oh, you can really hear it, man. You can hear it breathing, bro. What's interesting is when you hit the gas, the lights go out. Oh, you know what? It's happening up top, too. Yeah. I watched the running lights on the side blink. Yeah. Yeah, yeah when, yeah, when, when, have a bad when you give it gas, it the lights go completely yeah, out. Those are dimming, too, every time you do it. Yeah, so this car's definitely got something. Could just be the battery. Could something be wrong with it. Could be, yeah, it could be the battery. It starts back up now that you're running it up. It's checking the trunk. Yeah. yeah, we're spending a few more minutes on this one because I really like it. So, oh, wow, it's got the BMW carpet Damn. protector in there too. The battery is, Under all is it over it. there? Yeah, you got to take all of it out. A, that's a BMW battery. It's original, probably. That is a BMW battery. Wow. So either it's original or somebody that's replaced it. it. Yeah. <laughs> lots of leaves. Yeah, look at this shit in here. Yeah, lots of leaves. And so this up. this has been sitting. Yep. At some, or at least it was sitting, but it looks like it's been driven to wasp nest. Yep. You don't get this type of stuff from a car that's driven daily. Yep. You know, I don't know. It could have it could have been like the alternator was going out on it. Yeah. You know, and charging pro charging issues will make these cars say everything's wrong. It could just need a battery. Yep. It could need a battery and an alternator, or there could be something a lot more serious wrong with it. I mean, just because everything is up and running yep. doesn't mean the transmission shifts through all the gears. Mm -hmm. Not at all. <laughs> and I'll tell you what. Look under there. There's nests under here, right there. Rodents had nests under here. Look at that. 
I don't know how well you can see that down there, but there were, yeah, look, hold on. You hold your phone. Look, look at his phone. You see the rodent's nest in there? So this, this something caused this car to sit for a while. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe somebody chewed on uh, rats chewed on wires or. Something. Yeah, there could be chewed up wires causing the lights to flicker like that when you rev it up. I, I don't know. It, it could end up becoming an electrical nightmare. I'm just, I've been, I've been, I've been a little more cautious lately than I usually am. Just because I'm, I'm running low on money for the month. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm running low on it's money. To... typical January YouTuber. <laughs> we're throwing everybody money time. Yeah. yeah. YouTube payouts dropped a little bit in January. They dropped significantly in yeah. January. But, you know, so I got to be a little more careful about what we pick out. But uh, this is on the list. It's at like $14.50 right now. We'll see what happens. Next on my list, a brand new-ish 2019 Toyota. This is a Camry, right? Yeah. Okay. So the Corolla is a little smaller in this. Corolla is a little smaller. Okay. I think the Camry looks more aggressive than the Corolla. The, the, this is a, I'll be honest with you, this is, I didn't expect a Camry to look like this. And because they have <laughs> any kind of body damage, because they're, I think they're aluminum. Aluminum. Like when I bought that 2020 Corolla at Copart, I didn't pay much for that car. Yeah, I may. I'm thinking about replacing my Chevy Cruze. It's getting, it's almost to 200,000 miles. It just got back from California. It's got 175,000 miles on the odometer. And I figure, you know what? This one was sitting here. I, I, you can't use a salvage car on Toro. I have a lot of you ask me, why don't I buy my Toro cars and start a fleet from, from salvage yards? You can't do that. There are very specific terms that you have to adhere to, or if your car gets damaged, they don't cover you and they kick you from the platform. So my cruise made me about $7,000 in revenue last year. The cruise has paid off. I paid it off a year ago. And it got me $25,000 in tax deductions uh, last year as well. So Toro is a great platform, but that car, I mean, let's be real. It's a Chevy Cruze. It, it's got almost 200,000 miles on it. It's time to replace it with something else. But again, you can't use a salvage car. So I'm just kind of here checking this out. I don't think I'd go with a Camry. This looks like a pretty highly optioned Camry. Yeah. This thing looks sick. Another reason I wanted to show it to you guys, because I've never seen one before. It's Everything this. is fine. I bet you why they totaled it is this right here. Yeah. No, I'll tell you why they totaled it. Somebody's paint job. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Man. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's so, it, oh. I told you they don't look like your grandfather's Camry anymore. No, I did I did not know that Toyota was doing this. Yeah, you know, they had to get their Lexus what? to make them look nice. Yeah. Oh man, look oh, at dude, this is insane. I gotta know like what's the what's the MSRP? What's what's the retail market value on one of these? Hell, I'd take a used one. Toyota's run forever. I gotta replace the cruise at some point. And I think instead of going with GM, this time I'm gonna I'm gonna do the smart thing. I'm gonna move on with Toyota. Maybe a used low mileage. Are you taking Scotty Kilmer's advice? I, I, you know what? I think I will. <laughs> I, as much trash I talk on Scotty Kilmer from time to time, I think I'm going to listen to him. Go buy, <laughs> go buy a Toyota. You should fire this up, man. See what it does. Is it? It's a runner, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let it rip. You want me to do it? I got it. All right. Oh yeah. Oh wow, look how the dash, so look at all that. that thing is this is making me consider a damn Camry, bro. Are you gonna trade in the Tahoe? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see you trade in the Tahoe for the Camry. Or the Corol or yeah, the Camry. Forgive me, I'm not supporting wow. Man. I'm really impressed. I need to see what these what these are going for because I really like this. What is that? Lane departure? Yeah. And, and everything. And it's got paddle shifters. Oh my goodness. I need to pop the hood. see what we got going on under here watch it's going to be like a 1.2 liter three cylinder <laughs> with a body style of something that should have like a v10 under it i know some of them have a six it's a four, a four she's a four banger and it looks naturally aspirated it is it's not even a turbo or anything wow well it, she runs a little it's a little loud let's try that direct noise. injection mm -hmm. that gdi makes some noise what size motor is this it is a uh 2.5 liter. Huh. So it's actually bigger than it looks. 
Okay, well there you have it. I'm, I think I'm sold on Toyota. I'm gonna look at some of the newer model Corollas and Camrys. I like it. Get an idea of what the price is. You know, something still has a remaining manufacturer warranty. Maybe 20,000 or so miles on it. You know, low miles, but so that I'm not eating all that negative equity. And uh, swap over the uh, the Chevy Cruze. I paid seven grand for that 2020 Corolla. Really? At uh, Park. I think it's what it was, seven. I think I'm going to sell my cruise for because some, some of my audience is going to be like, sell it to me, sell it to me. I think I'm going to put my cruise up for sale for three grand. I think it's a fair price. It still runs and drives and everything, and it's had a lot of service. We just put a new turbocharger on it about 15,000 miles ago. Tim and I did that in the front yard. So, uh, you know, it's a good car, but I think it's time to, to get something newer. That car has been rented out. It's been to New York, it's been to California. It literally just got back from California like two days ago. So, I mean, it'll make a road trip all day long. It's just the miles are getting up there for me to be letting people take it cross country all the time. I don't want it to end up broke down somewhere and I'm stuck trying to figure it out. It this is nice, guys. This really has me considering uh, Toyota as the replacement for the, uh, the Chevy Cruze. Next on my list, a 2014 Chevy Impala. So why am I showing you a Chevy Impala? Because this is the last of the Impalas, man. They don't exist anymore. This was it. Like, this is how the Impala died. But don't worry, the Impala has died before. And it finds its way back every time. Hey, they killed the Camaro for a while too, didn't they? Yep. Yeah. It, sometimes I don't understand the people that come up with... <laughs> you know, let's take the let's take the, the sports car and let's... The, the affordable sports car, I say. The sports car that most people can afford. And let's discontinue it. And now they took everybody go to the German cars and then yeah and and once they our sales are done yeah yeah once you go German you never come back you know that <laughs> <laughs> they killed the flagship for well I don't want to say for GM they killed the Chevy mm -hmm. flagship when they killed the Impala man I've always loved you know, this when car they kill the Impala they kill whatever they build whatever Buick car is built off of it what is yeah. it the Lucerne yeah. or whatever yeah it's a sad day. I, I couldn't believe it when they told me that the their biggest car now is the Chevy Malibu. Malibu crap. I was just like, and this is the LTZ too. Oh man, eighty six thousand miles. Uh, probably going for nothing. I bet it's going for nothing. I don't even see airbags deployed. Nothing. I see some suspension shit up front. Yeah, suspension is easy. Like this looks like control lower control arm snap fender. strut is bent the fender apron i'll bet is straight you'll need the fender you're probably gonna need everything up here yep. but the fender apron which is what everything attaches to look at that yeah, it's all good it's good it's good it's straight so you're gonna need most likely a strut you're gonna need the suspension components down there probably the knuckle and probably the hub and the cal maybe the caliper and stuff too hoses but hey, this is all the cheap you can get this from a junkyard the all these parts for next to nothing so you've got your V6 direct injection, variable valve timing. What is this? So what they got a 3.6 right? or 3.9? 3.6. Used to, the LTZs would get that 3.9 liter in it. Yep. You got that higher torque. It's a lot more fun. Right. A lot more fun. But nothing wrong with this one at all. You got the beautiful alloy rims. The interior's got a really interesting color and design. It's like a, nice it's a great, what is this, like turquoise right here? Yeah, it's like turquoise. Yeah, it's like a turquoise tube. color. Someone left a lot of their stuff in the glove box here. So I'm going to close that because I don't want to accidentally... Okay, I'm not going to... I'm not closing it. Take a look at the back seat here. See what she looks like. We got some air fresheners. There's a little bitty stain on the floor. Right? This thing is like... This is in almost immaculate condition. Tires are in excellent shape. Oh, wow. Okay. So we got bags of ice from 7-Eleven in here. Some Walmart bags. Typical family go-getter over here. Let's fire this bad boy up. Let's see what she sounds like. There All we right. go. There we go. It's got Chevy Mylink. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Almost like my Tahoe. What year is this? A 14. Man. This is nice. It's letting me know the trunk is open. Yep. Put it into gear. I don't expect it's going to move. It's in gear, though. Yeah. It shifts. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to try to move Look at it. The speedometer moving. Oh, <laughs> so the axle's broken. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I could hear it too. I heard it. Yeah. Click. All right. Yeah, I heard it click. I just I didn't know the axle was actually broken. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this one off. Oh, look at that! Everything moves out of your way. It's got the Bose Premium system. You got the big touch screen. This would not be bad if it went for the right price. Yeah, this went for the right price. This is an easy repair. Eighty-six grand. Eighty-six thousand on the. Uh, oh, 
just makes me wonder like why and you know when a lot of times you get a collision over here you end up with the fender knocking into the a pillar and damaging it and that's extra expense but the door survived there's no damage, no damage to, to the, the door, door no damage to the it's a really pillar no damage the to the hood it's Man. just a fender in the suspension that rim is shot it's been chewed up so i bet you a tire go on it though yeah you could buff that you could sand that out i would replace it if you look down here look how bad this is like this is it's shaved uh, down i would be worried that it's going to pop the, the pop bead could the pop bead. out yeah. and this tire see you're going to need a tire you're going to need a rim you're going to need a bumper this headlight this, this headlight survived out. it just got a scuff yeah buff that, out. Buff that out fender bumper and a few suspension components down there and the brakes felt good yep. so it still has brake pressure which means the caliper is good yep. more than likely you could fix up. this for probably like six seven hundred bucks yep. and you can have this thing back and if you're lucky you go to carpart.com, which is who I use, you can find the same color. Yep. And you just go to a local junkyard that has it. They'll have it all ready for you. Pick it up, bring it home, put your car back together. I love the Impala, man. Comment below if you love the Impala too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this Copart walk around. Big shout out and thank you to TK for coming out here. Because it really, it's, 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 what is it today? It's like, it's wet, it's humid, yeah, and it's I cold. I flakes over here with the hood open, like little pieces of ice. Yeah, my there. paper that's got all my cars is like, it's getting, Humidity's it's, yeah. Ridiculous. Humidity is ridiculous, and it's like just freezing cold out here. So I really appreciate him coming out today. Like I said in the beginning of the video, don't forget to check out TK's garage. He's the one that is giving away, donating, if you will, that car to one of you guys. But you got to subscribe to his channel, got to subscribe to my channel, and definitely go over, watch his video on the car giveaway and comment on that video that's, that's how you get a chance to win then he's gonna do a random picker random comment picker you can't you know you can't beg and, and ask for the car that's not how it works it doesn't work that way, doesn't work that way. you guys just gleam io, gleam IO. Yep. it's gonna pick it it's a random like third party place mm -hmm. it's gonna pick it and it's gonna pick from the comments so you gotta comment on the video I've been getting a million emails. Mm -hmm. I know you have too. People are commenting, hit me up on Facebook and stuff. Like we're that's not how it works. It's gonna be a random giveaway. All right. I appreciate all of you. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you don't, don't hesitate to give it a big thumbs down. Comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Auto auction rebuilds. Until next time, stay safe out there. I'll catch you all very soon. In the next one, I'm done. <laughs>